My name is Sean Morris. I'm the battalion chief here at Cape Girardeau Fire Department, and today we're talking about a memorial bricks in front of the fire station number one. So primarily how it all, or as far as who can be in it, you have to be a retired member from Cape Girardeau Fire Department. Uh, and, and basically how it started is, is thinking back a, a while back, we lost a member due to COVID. Um, he was the, uh, he was set to retire, but he was, uh, we lost him during that time. So we, we thought, hey, how do we, how do we memorialize him? But also, how do we memorialize other people who've left us and who are no longer on the fire department? So uh, just, we kind of got lucky. The city was doing a, a project in the, on the street. So we were able to tie out the old flagpole and with the help of the, with the uh, engineering department and then with our union, we were able to put it together and get started. And our members actually put it in. Um, so then when, it got, when we got going with it, we originally just set it up for the people who had passed away. And once we got the first set of bricks in, we had a lunch, brought those families in. They got to put those bricks in place for their family members, so they're always there. And then after that, we decided, well, how about we just start doing it to people who've retired as well? So we've since started ordering bricks for people who've retired. Uh, we have a annual breakfast for our retirees every year. And this year, they're coming in in October and they're gonna get to put their bricks in when they come in. And then recently, we're getting ready to start it this month. Uh, all new retirees from the fire department, we will have a brick made for them before they leave. Our union's purchasing them and they will get to put it in on their last day of shift. So. So it's just a way to keep up with them and they're, they're always a part of us. Like, they're all notable, but uh, some of the ones that come to mind real quick is, is like I said, Ivan Legrand, who was the one that we lost, uh, Jake Nolan, uh, Larry Davey. From my point, standpoint, it, it's, you don't forget who worked it this way, you never forget them, they're always here. And also it makes you remember them. Like I said, a lot of those guys, I know them personally, so when I see their name, it reminds me of stories. And the same thing goes for other guys that have worked here. They get a chance to see those names and they go, oh, I remember a story about this guy. So. That's why.